Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond welcoming you back to the world of Cave Story in the last episode. We made it through the Egg Corridor once again, which has been completely overrun by the Doctor. All of the dragons seem to have hatched and none of them are quite happy about it. They were in terrible condition, some of them were already long gone. We do have one dragon however, which Kazuma is going to use to escape the island. He offered to take us with him, but we are going to instead try to defeat the doctor even if it may seem impossible we gotta try so let's go all right then like when i get to this point it's when i this is when it kicks in that the game is almost over and i'm just like oh my god i it just came and went so stinking fast it's just i love this game so much though despite all the complaining it's just such a amazing gem and i'm so happy that i actually wound up playing it uh, if you go over here and then look over here it doesn't really show any indication that you can uh, go through this area, but you uh, indeed could. I don't know what words are. And if you open this treasure chest, you get the 290 counter. This is required to get the perfect ending. Something is inscribed in the counter. This is I present to you, the challenger, in anticipation for of your determination. Show me your best. It's a long message to put on a tiny little counter, but whatever. Alright, we got that taken care of, and now we got uh, these things. Not sure what that's all about, but okay. Uh, what else we got? Just a Weird looking enemies, they look like the, I don't know what they look like, but they're weird. All right then, and we got, oh look at the adorable little ghost, who's shooting little jizz at us, how nice, ouch. Okay, uh, go over here, can, uh, looks like that's it. I just love this area, like there are times where I, like, I went onto the 3DS version and just like watched this area for a million hours at a time, just cause it's so sick and nice looking. This sort of make me kind of upset that I didn't, uh, I'm gonna have to return this afterwards. Like, I kind of want to keep it now. Uh, I would keep it normally, but the used copy that I bought unfortunately doesn't have a box, so I don't really want to keep it unless it has a box. And hello, white crocodile. Uh, phooey. Uh, that's sort of awkward. Well, technically, I don't. I don't need to defeat it. I gotta acknowledge that I got max power on all the things. And hello. Uh, go. Oh my god, I'm really happy that I have the spur. I don't even need the cheese. Don't get tempted by it. All right, that's wonderful. Oh my god, I love cheese, but it causes so much stinking anxiety, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. It feels good to be free from the cheese. All right, oh geez, oh come on, Croc. All right then. Thankfully, he doesn't go back down to the ground until you attack him, so you could just keep him there as a platform. These things. Uh, the heart would be nice, and thankfully I can actually grab it. Okay, nice. Keep on going up. I just love this stinking area so stinking much. I, I don't think it looks as good on recording, but like, my god, it looks amazing in person. And especially on this new TV, it looks amazing. Alright, uh, keep on going, I suppose. No, just give up now. It'd really crummy if we fell at this point, but no, we ain't gonna let that happen. It seems like there's like a, just the width of clouds and everything makes it seem like there would be like a wind current or something, but no, there isn't. Thankfully. Uh, just keep going up, I suppose. I don't know how many times you guys keep saying that, but then again, it's me we're talking about, so whatever. Keep OGs. Keep OGs in. Alright, hopefully I could. I'm hoping to record the rest of the LP right in here and now. I was gonna save it for tomorrow, but I was like, eh, let's do it now. Uh, looks like we're at the top. Uh, hello. Ah! Eek! Don't kill me! I'm a human. I was turned into a Mi'kma'ka by magic. Eh? You mean you're not a killer robot? You startled me pretty badly by coming in so suddenly. Are you here to save us? I'm Ito. I'm one of the humans who came to study the island. Misery gave me this lovely new Mi'kma'ka appearance. I could probably run away, but take a look at me and how I am now. I'm stuck. You must have climbed all the way up the wall from outside. I'm quite a capable engineer, but I also have an innate fear of heights. Ugh. I shouldn't have come to such a place like this floating island. Alright then. So, meet a new character again. Another person who was turned into a Mamiga. Probably a relation to Kazuma and Sue, but uh, we're still looking for Sue herself. Probably in possession of the doctor. Plantation. Alright then, this area. 
Uh, if you go up here, I believe, this is another, like, wide open area, sort of similar to Mamiga Village, where, like, it's just a big stinking area, and you have to, like, go and access all the high doors and stuff. That was very poorly worded. Statue Chamber. Halder. Anatopony. Miyakido. And the one that looks like the doctor. We can't read. This guy's blocking it. This will be important for later. Passage? Nothing up here. It seems that that's weird. It gives up that one. Was this Smash Bros or something? All right, back to the plantation, not the egg plantation. Uh, let's see. That's a weird looking bad enemy. That's a weird looking bird. All right, okay. I really much appreciate how awesome this spur is. Oh yeah, I'm starting to appreciate it a bit more. I'm getting to learn how to use it. Uh, what is down here now? Uh, there's a little passageway, and hey, look who it is! The doctor from the surface is using the Mamiga of this island to grow red flowers for him. Similar kinds of events have occurred in the past, too. Who are you? Hmm. We saved Curly, but seems she took on too much damage and lost her memory as well. Then again, she was already amnesiac when we met her, but now she's forgotten this adventure on top of that. She's back to square one. Wonder if there's anything we could do about that. Uh, careful with the spitting gunfish. Note, they can be used as steps. Alright, good to know. I guess it's a good step in the right direction. I don't know, that's not, that's just pushing it. And what are these bug things? I, I gotta give credit to the enemies. I don't really talk about them all that much, but like, there's always, there is variety in the enemies. They always look really funny and just interesting. Uh, you aren't really given the chance to appreciate that, though, because they're always, like, making you stinking angry. Oh, I guess this would be a reason why we would want the Whimsical Star to be turned off, because it actually does damage the fish a bit. It reads, do not enter. Also, it's locked. <laughs> Alright. Uh, if we go down here. Oh, I don't have to worry about that. Oh, shiny. You know, I really should have seen that coming. You never see it Whoops, sorry buddy. Didn't mean to startle you. Alright then. Uh, going up here in this area, we found some Amiga who have been taken hostage by the doctor. They won't really talk to us, it seems. I guess they're the ones who are harvesting red flowers they're being forced to. And they're being guarded by these incredibly adorable guards, but unfortunately, we must put an end to them for the sake of the greater good, I guess. Alright then, let's see if we can get rid of this guy, this sumo slammer who looks very tough, but not tough enough to face against the spur. I really wish it had a cooler name, but whatever. Uh, I'll stop moaning about that. Uh, what's in here? Rest area. I very much like a rest area. Yo! Yaho! Yaho! No. Haven't we met somewhere before? Must have been in Mamiga Village. That what? That, oh god. That witch misery brought me here. I thought it was something else. I really dislike farming. Gonna go clear my head with some fishing for a bit. Do you like to fish? If there's another chance, maybe I'll bump into you again. Alright, he's out of here. I like that one with the sunglasses over here. I wanna talk to him. He looks like a cool dude. Uh, he of course he doesn't wanna talk to me. Uh, this guy's sleeping. Doesn't wanna talk. Doesn't want to talk. Doesn't want to talk. Okay, it's just it's just like real life. Uh, I guess there's nothing else in here. It's a rest area, but we aren't able to rest in it ourselves. How sad. But you actually do need to get the fishing dude out of here because he will help us out in a few jiffies. Not just one jiffy, a couple of jiffies. You gotta like work out your jiffies or something. I don't know. This doesn't make any stinking sense. Uh, what's up here? Uh, these guys still don't want to talk to us. There is... Is there anything of interest that we gotta check out before checking out with the fisher? I don't think so. Jail number two, hello. Oh, you're a killer robot? You've come to kill us? Uh, apparently the siren is telling you that I am or something like that. The doctor can eat it. Uh, can I talk to you? Doctor can eat it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever. Seems to be just more and more Mamiga. Looks like there are a lot more. Um, these are all the ones that got taken from the village before we even showed up. And there's a teleporter here. All right, what does that lead to? Shelter. Huh. 
This is the shelter in the bushlands where Kazuma was held captive before. This brings me back. Okay, then. I'm not going to go a on a trip down memory lane, however. We are just going to head back to the plantation. So I guess that's a rest stop of sorts. Also, if you just want to go back to any of the other areas and make it a bit easier for you, I guess. But we don't need that, so we're going to keep on going. Going to the plantation. I very much appreciate the Cave Story theme song being played here because it's a really good song. I don't really know if it fits this area specifically, though. I don't know why they chose uh, this area of all places to play, but whatever. It's not the final, final area, but it is like the final area that leads to the final area. Finally, the final fight of finality besides the finale, I suppose. Uh, I guess that's about it. I know there's a, one other room we have it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that guy like threw a boomerang of himself or something like that. Okay. Can you stand on enemies or not? I like, I've been iffy about that on whether or not it's possible. Maybe it's just with some enemies you can. I don't know. It's like, it seems like sometimes you can, sometimes you can. I was like, when doing the fights with Balrog, I was like looking back at footage and stuff. I was like, can I stand on enemies? Hello. Life capsule I didn't even know existed. All right, we're now at 40 HP, not uh, full HP, but whatever. Very much appreciate it. Uh, what else is there? Hello. Uh, can I charge you up? Uh, oh, yeah, we got rid of the big bat in one hit, which is nice. And him in one hit, which is also nice. And we're good. Three hearts. Get all them hearts on this one. Now we're at 42 full health. All right, then. Keep on going. Let's charge this up again. Uh, there is very nice. I I appreciate it. If I just have to wait a little bit to get the full power, I guess that's okay. Jail number one. Hello. Well, we found our friends, but they don't really want to talk to us. Guess we're gonna have to find a way in there. Ah, oh, I forgot that I'm gonna have to uh, fight this guy now. Uh, here's a higher point. I guess if you just want to go around and save. What's the point of this? I don't really know. All right then. Walk back around. I should probably go back to the fish dude now. Uh, this thing right here, in case it wasn't painfully, painfully obvious already, uh, don't go up there. It is a death trap. You literally cannot do anything about it right now. If you go up there, instant death. Don't do it. All right, not like you need me to tell you about that though. I love the background though. All right, enough gushing about graphics and stuff. Let's go to see our best bud, the fisher dude, who doesn't have an actual name as far as I'm aware. Hello, friend. Oh, it's you. I caught something strange. You can take it if you want. It's inside the bucket. Was it the thing in that red thorn bush that I kind of got pooed over by trying to get? A teleporter room key. Let's see if we go down here. Oh, geez. Yeah, it was actually right down here. And it's like right where he's fishing. So that's kind of cool. But it's kind of like a jerk move. They put it there making you think that you could get it, but you don't actually get it that way. Oh, you could use the, the booster underwater. I didn't know that. If I could get up here, that'd be nice. Thank you. Just jump around over here. I can. And I don't need you guys as a platform because I got the booster. Teleporter, I just met her. I found you, killer robot. Uh. Well, that just happened. Hey. Hey, you. Are you dead or something? Way to ruin the tension, stinking stardust, whatever you're called. Mm, yelp. Oh, you're awake. I thought you were already dead. Sue would smack you and you wouldn't even move an inch. This place is a jail. Those who oppose the doctor are locked up here to be used as test subjects for his ongoing experiments. Sue said so. You a friend of hers? You're a little bit too late. She was here as well. She worried about you so much. It was only for a few minutes ago that you got carried off. And by the way, she snuck something in your pocket while you were, she was taken away. Hey, it's me, Sue. I don't remember telling you anything about us. We came to the island as a research group. It was me, my mom, Kazuma, Professor Booster, and a few assistants. The doctor was with us too. He was supposed to take care of our medical needs, and did, I guess. But that all changed when he found the demon crown. That crown used to belong to the master of this island. 
and the grants and grants immense magical powers to the person who who dons it. The doctor knew about it well before coming to the island. It's the reason he forced himself onto our group. After he grabbed hold of the crown, that was pretty much it. We couldn't do anything about it. The only thing we could do was continue the research of the island under his command. He seeks to rule the surface using the island as a flying fortress. From what I can tell, he plans on attacking the surface with the enraged Mamiga army. I was able to escape, however. The other researchers are probably... Of course, he's using the innocent Mamiga to grow a large quantity of the red flowers. And once he's ready to attack, he's gonna send the Mamiga into a state of insane rage by feeding them the red flowers. With his powers from the crown, he'll control them and me too. If you can get out of the jail, please look for a hidden safe house somewhere within the plantation. If my mom is still alive, then she'll be there working on a plan of her own to beat the doctor. Please, help her as much as you can. Before I forget, the password to get into the safe house is... Cave Story Backwards. Very clever. That's the end of the letter. Want to read it again? No. Um. All right then. Sue was able to give us a lot of information on how this all came to be. Unfortunately, we weren't able to reunite with her and actually talk with her face to face, but it's something. We're so close, guys. Just keep on going. We'll make it to the end. But we can't do it alone. We gotta reunite with Curly, and we gotta help her out first, because she's gonna be detrimental to pulling this off. So, is there anything we could do to help her restore her memory? This gal fell down near the spring. She doesn't remember who she is. Probably scrap metal now. Just one thing. I've heard about some kind of special mushroom that suddenly helps recover one's memory if eaten. I wonder if that'll maybe work on this poor girl too. Are you? Hmm, I've heard of rad shrooms and bad shrooms, but I've never heard of a memory restoration mushroom shroom. Hopefully one exists and that we will be able to find it. Well, uh, do you have any idea where that might be, you audience that I'm referring to as if I'm Dora the Explorer and waiting for an answer and then I'm gonna pretend that I actually heard you and pretend that you actually got the right answer and I'll compliment you on your praise? Compliment you on your praise? Compliment you on your good job of getting it, I'll praise you on it even though you didn't actually give me an answer or the correct answer, I don't even know what you're saying. Maybe you clicked out by now just because I'm really stinking annoying, I would have done that too. But whatever. We need to go to the only place in this entire stinking game where we've seen mushrooms in this entire stinking game, and that is the cemetery of Mimiga Village. But before we do that, how about we save the game? Alright, head over here. What you're going to want to do is go to the cemetery. And first time we were here, you may have noticed that... There was OGs. There was OGs. No, there was a door over here. I didn't acknowledge it, not because I was trying to, like, not spoil something that we'd be doing for later, but uh, maybe I didn't actually see it at all. I don't know. Storage. Uh, hello, friend. You got some business with me? Uh, yes. Mmm, amnesia. Oh, that's terrible. Do you want the mushroom badge? Sure. But you don't really need it then. Uh, wait. No? Wait, you really do want it? Yes. You really want it no matter what? Yes. Then you don't need it. No. Well, then I'll give it to you. Obtain the mushroom badge. Okay, then. Well, what does it do exactly? A mushroom badge obtained from Ma Pignon. It serves no purpose. Uh, hello? Ack! Found me out. That's just a normal badge. Say what? You say you're gonna eat me? I'm a very, very valuable mushroom and the only one in this cave, too. Snap! Don't think for one minute that I'll let you eat me without putting up a fight. It's on! Okay, oh Jesus Christ! Wait, why did I switch over to that? Oh jeez. Oh my god, what the heck? What even is this thing? What is this terrible place? Okay, I'm gonna fight a stinking mushroom and apparently he's the toughest fight in the entire stinking game. Oh Jesus, there's so many! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my golly gee, I don't think I've ever fought this thing before. Alright, let's hurry up and go... Okay, the booster actually helps in this fight. Oh jeez, oh god, oh no, oh man, oh no. Get rid of all these things, get out of here. Switch to the this, 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 this. Am I hitting him? Am I hitting him? Am I hitting him? Am I hitting him? 
Is he immune to missiles? He was immune to missiles. Great. Oh, I really need to know how to work this thing. Okay. Okay. Get in the rhythm. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Booster is your friend. Use it in combat. All right. I just got to remember that. Bouncing one, stinking... They're all bouncing. They're all annoying. They're all evil. Mushrooms are stinking evil. Uh, let's see, go here and just, I'm charging up the booster. I need my sinking thing Mahoozy back. I need my, my trusty friends, the twinkling stars of happiness. I also need some hearts. Hearts are nice. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. So I understand what they mean now when they say don't eat the mushroom, but we really need to eat the mushroom because uh, it's sort of important. It's also sort of romantic when you think about it. This guy doesn't have his memories either, but he's gonna apparently give the only mushroom of this kind to Curly just so she can remember us because that's more important than us just remembering everything that's happened to us and that's it I thought your gun just got really big for a second but now it's, just, it's ammo in the background I've lost obtain ma pignon hooray all right now that we got that taken care of, let's return to Curly and restore her memory and go this way because it's a lot quicker. You've done so much for us throughout this entire adventure. Even without a memory, you always put others before yourself. We simply couldn't have made it here without you, Curly Brace. Now it's time for us to return the favor. So, you better brace yourself for that bad pun. <laughs> Stuffed it into Curly's mouth. Quote! Now I remember, your name's Quote. You and I are... Well, before a great number of us robots were sent to this island, we were sent by the countries of the surface. The purpose of this mission? It was the incredible slumbering power found on this floating island. And it was also about the demon crown. But you and I were different. We were sent on a mission to destroy that power. The island, it was in a mess when we landed. Ravaged by the robots. They murdered scores of poor little Mamigas. It was horrible. And finally, one man sees the demon crown. The robot's mission was complete, and the island felt totally silent. But that was simply the beginning of the tragedy. The man who was able to capture the crown turned the Mamiga into beasts, and they began attacking the surface. I faced him and tried my best to defeat him. You were with me then. That's all I can remember. The crown bearer was surely injured by both our attacks that time. How about you? Can you recall something? Anything? I'm fine now. Don't worry about me. Oh, here. Please keep this. Obtain the Iron Bond. Your connection to Curly Brace, the only person you trust. You'll see each other again. Things are looking up, and it seems we have all the answers now. Next time on Cave Story, we're going face to face with the Doctor himself. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.